السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم آمين My dear children, how are you all doing today? We hope that you all are in the best state of Iman and health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all protected and grant you all the goodness of both worlds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in your health, in your wealth, in your knowledge, in your time and in your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you all to learn and understand the Qur'an and to follow the Qur'an in your lives. Allahumma ameen. So inshallah, today we will be studying Ayah number 45 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Let us first do the word to word translation of this ayah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Wasta'inu and seek help. Bis-sobari with patience. Wasolah and prayer. Wa and innaha indeed it. Meaning, indeed, prayer. Laka bi rotun is surely difficult. Illa accept. Ala upon. Al khashi'een, the humble ones. Let's now see the running translation of this ayah. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytan ar rajim. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبَرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ And seek Allah's help with patience and prayer. It is indeed hard except to those who are the humble ones. In the previous ayahs, the scholars of the Jews were told that you do not practice what you preach and you do not bring faith in the last Prophet Muhammad wasallam, because this is a very difficult thing for you. Because if you do so, you will have to sacrifice your wealth and the people will not come to you for decisions. Instead, they will go to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for it. Likewise, even in today's world, people have great fear for losing their position. It is indeed very difficult and it is a very great deed to take out the love of the wealth, the love of the position from one's heart. If you cannot do this, and it's very difficult for you to take out the love of wealth from your heart. Then Allah is asking us to do this. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَةِ And seek Allah's help with patience and prayer. When you have to read salah, you have to leave something which you are doing that you might like to do, that you might like to continue doing. So to leave that thing, you need patience. Patience is mentioned before the prayer. Why? Because even to offer salah, you need patience. Similarly, to leave a sin, you need patience. Because you are enjoying the sin and it is difficult to leave something which you are enjoying. So you need patience for it. Patience and prayer are two big weapons in this ayah, it is said that when you find good deeds, prayer or even the chores of this world getting difficult on you, then have patience. Seek Allah's help with patience and prayer. According to the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, fasting is half of patience. And this hadith is narrated in At-Tirmidhi. In fasting, we have to be patient to not eat, to not say bad words, to save ourselves from foul language. 
right? Yes. In Musnad Ahmad, it is stated that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in pain due to hunger. So he went to Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, and he confirmed that he is in pain. Then Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him to get up and offer salah, as there is a shifa in salah, there is a healing in salah. Similarly, in Hakim, it is narrated that when Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu received the news of death of his brother Saqum radiallahu anhu while traveling, then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Indeed, to Allah we belong and to Allah we shall return. And then, went on the side and made the camel sit and he started offering salah and he offered quite a long salah and then after that going towards the camel he started reciting this ayah wasta'inu bis sabri was salah wa innaha lakabiratun illa ala al khashi'in Let's all make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we also remember this ayah in the time of difficulty and we recite it and we act upon this ayah and we offer salah, we do zikr and do nawafil and also seek help from Allah with patience. The scholars of the Jews are being advised here that you have a lot of arrogance and love of wealth in your hearts which has become a very big fitna, a very big test for you. Therefore, it has become very difficult for you to have Iman in Prophet wasallam as the last Prophet of Allah. To believe that Prophet wasallam is the last Prophet of Allah. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them to seek help through patience and salah. And this will help you only in the case when you have fear of Allah in your hearts and you are humble. Therefore, in this ayah it is said, وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Seeking help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being patient and by offering salah is very difficult except for those who are fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except for those who are humble. The ones who fear Allah are able to do all the difficult things easily by having patience and by offering salah. Now in the next ayah, it is told as to who are the people who are khashi'een, the ones who are fearful of Allah, the ones who are humble. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he helps us and gives us ability to be patient and offer salah in all our difficult times during the test and trials of this life. We pray that we remember to offer nawafil in times of difficulty and not cry and be worried. We should always seek help from Allah alone. There can be no better friend than Allah and there is no one who can take us out of that difficult situation except Allah. So alhamdulillah with this we come to the end of our today's session. See you all in the next session with the next ayah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta an astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.